Because that's the hardest thing about graphic design. So you have a chance to make it something really cool and really special. So it's an easy 50 bucks. You keep doing this, you make some money. Because that's the hardest thing about graphic design. About graphic design. Graphic design. Graphic design. Graphic design. Graphic design. Graphic design. I don't want all the women of YouTube to look at me like I'm like just a schmuck. You see my koozie? Before you give somebody a piece of your mind, make sure you can get by with what's left. Oh, because you're going <laughs> to give it to them? Like a slice of pizza? Yeah, there's only so and much. dog ears, I've only had one. It's pretty good. And dog ears. <clears throat> graphic design, graphic design, graphic design. All right. It's been a while. It's been a while. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Wacom, Texas. The show where you dream past the part. And we screencast some art. My name or, or design. Like today's episode. Like today's episode. My name is Jay Myers. My name is Chris Kerr. And today we're going to show you how to make some money being a graphic designer. It's true. Uh, it's a field that's taken off. Okay, watch this, everybody. Like oil prices. Boom. Okay, what we did there is we... Have a gradient um, background. Gradient background, and we changed our point size to 2,158 to make the logo outline. Now I'm switching back to a smaller circle, and I'm going to get going. Do you know if there's a square font or a square... Brush? Brush. Yeah, I think if you click this one, no, no, I think if you do that one, there. I think that's square, look at that. Oh no, that's all weird. Go to the one. Right. What about airbrush? Okay, so what we're gonna do is um, show you how to make a logo. How, or I'm sorry, how to design and make a logo. The important thing about a logo is you want really powerful colors because you're trying to get people's attention. Do you think it should be pink? Yeah. Yep. Power. Perfect. No, you had it. That was even nice. Like a right. pastel kind of looking. Passion pink. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Yeah, definitely. All right, we're going with passion pink. And um, I forgot to bring my ruler with. And your and your barrel stave. Yeah, my barrel stick. stave. And our yeah. set today is a little uh, messy. We're really kind of at the oh. end of the rope with our studio here. What's half of Wonderdom? Hold on a second. Wonder. D W W O dead air time, Chris. Right. Sorry about that. Should have been more so prepared. W O N D E R D U M B R. So E. Uh, oh, no, oh, I see. So okay, so One. wonder dumb. So One after D N D and before D, D, that's in the middle. So this or is D the way to do it is to start in the middle. All right, I want to keep it really clean. That's really large. Oh. Whoa. I don't know what that's happened. really large font. Do you think it's going to fit? Probably not. Should I go back? Mm, maybe. So, you know what? You're not going to make money just uh, just by clicking a couple of things. You really got to think about it. You got to go back. You got to undo. You got to redo. You're going to put some work into this. If you want to earn that money as a logo designer or graphic designer, you're going to have to put in the work. It's not going to come easy. You're going to look at it. You're going to have to make judgments and go back. We noticed that the font was too large. We're going to go back and make smaller font. If we just made it with large font, we're never going to be able to sell ourselves as a graphic designer. All right, everybody. This is pretty easy. Well, it's not easy. It's you really got to put some thought into this. Yeah. Once you get the hang of it, though. All right. Um, Watch tutorials on, on YouTube like this one. See what I just did the there? Works. I have a little tension. So that, that, that kind of grabs people's eye. And I'm going to keep going here. So make sure you measure this out so it fits on here really nicely. All right. Looks a little off-centered. Oh, uh, nope. there you go. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> so sometimes you gotta right. kind of uh You gotta be creative, people. Alright, and dumb, so it's D U M B, but there's the M is a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna adjust the kerning, that's what we call it in graphic design. The space between the letters. Alright, I'm gonna nest this B right in here. And U that right looks here. Good. Yep. All right, so you guys are learning the uh, kerning. You're learning Watch the a tension bit again. Tension. Oh, I just That's bumped good. it. That's good. Yeah. All right. Cool. So this is actually working out pretty well. I've actually never made a logo. 
Um, me either. This is looking pretty good. Um, yeah, believe it or not, we've never made a logo. And you know what? We'd charge for a logo like this, uh, I don't know, 50 bucks. $10. Ten, no. You charge too little, they're not going to take you as pro. You do something like this, you want them to know that you're a pro, you're going to charge them pro prices. Yeah. 50 bucks. That's the point. You know, it takes you about 20, 30 minutes to design, you're going to charge 50 bucks. It's $100 an hour approximately for a pro. So you oh. charge them 10 bucks, so they're not going to think it's that good because they're like, oh, well, this is like an amateur. That How do I get the white? I want to the white there. Oh, here we go. All right. There you go. Do you want smaller? Nope. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the shape. We of did eight our... by eight. Three hundred. You want to always do three hundred colors or something, right? Yep. Three hundred. Exactly. Okay. So we're drawing the image of our logo, which happens to be a clown. So uh, to go back, kind of the to money and pricing, because that's the hardest thing about graphic design. Graphic design you could do um, pretty simply, but it's about pricing and it's about knowing what the costs and stuff are. So you spend some money on licensing for like Adobe Photoshop CS6, right? So you do one logo for 50 bucks, you do 10 logos, and you basically you're going to get yourself uh, paid for the free software. And then after that, it'll be considered money in the bank. Um, I've noticed a lot of the times the red nose is some kind of red nose day or something, and it's a big thing. Tap into that market. Rudolph, too. Tap into the market. Tap into the Rudolph Christmas market. It's a huge, huge money maker. Um, oh, red eyes looks a little, <laughs> this is good. It's pretty good. So it's an easy 50 bucks. You keep doing this. You make some money, folks. We're okay, showing you how to make some real bring money. It. We're going to show you how to make some real money with a professional logo. <laughs> and people are going to take you seriously when you make your own logo. I've noticed that if you pay someone else to make your logo, it tends to be really boring. Like they'll, they'll always make it boring. But if you make your own logo, you have a chance to make it something really cool and really special. What's uh, is that his neck? <laughs> uh, a really big neck. No, it's that cummerbund neck oh, yeah, yeah. piece thing. Mm -hmm, the roughness. Yeah, I'll go ahead and draw that in now so there's no more ambiguity. And we're actually winding down here. We're gonna We're almost done with the logo and that's gonna take too fifty long. bucks in twenty minutes. Oh nice, yeah, good job. Like that. Yeah, that looks great. So it adds a little playfulness, a little texture, a little line work. That uh, you could probably make a little. You could probably charge a little extra on the line work. Yep. Charge sixty bucks. Charge right. ten bucks extra for the line work. And again, really powerful colors. I'm going to bring it home. And I'm one draw thing that he, he drew out himself, he drew out the font. So you're not paying for a professional font. You're That's not. That's the point. So you could charge for the professional font. You could probably charge. 10 bucks for the, for your own personalized font. So that's 70 bucks now. Point. So it adds up, it adds up quick. The savings add up and then that leaves a higher profit margin for you yep. at the end of the day. But you can also charge for those savings. You know, you're saving by not buying professional font, but you can also charge for it. Use. I'm just gonna use the mouse, finish it up. You're done? You're not using the... No, I'm just gonna use this, it's easier. All right. And well, you can always go to the mouse. You can use your, you know, your pen and wake them tablet. But here, he just used the mouse for the eyes to get the, the details. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. I could go in there and I could rework it, but why? That's gonna that's gonna mess up our profit margin yep. and. Um, or what you do, you expensive. show this to the people that you know that, that are buying it. They want you to rework it. Well, you charge for that. If he did the reworking now, he's not gonna make money from that. Yeah. You show them this. They go, well, if you do this and this, and they might make some changes for you. But you could charge them for those changes. Mm -hmm. If he were to make those changes now. And try to rework it himself. He's not going to make any money. Yeah. You charge him seventy bucks. They want you to rework it. You charge another seventy. Yep. So now we're talking one hundred and forty bucks for this. It's just that easy. Cha Ching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.